Do you ever feel like you're doing your skincare routine by buying a name brand product here and there, but you're not sure if it's working or making your skin look better? I know that feeling all too well. And I promise that after watching today's video, you won't be confused anymore. No matter what your skin looks like right now, no matter what products you're losing right now, if you try these routines and tips, you will notice a huge improvement in your skin immediately. Thankfully, a lot of people compliment me on my skin, but the truth is, I don't have a great skin every day. If I neglect to take care of a little bit or if my routine is disrupted or I'm stressed, it's intensely bad. I've been busy and stressed lately, which has caused my skin barrier to break down and get worse, but by focusing on my basic skincare routine and lifestyle improvement, my skin has gotten better and healthier. So in this video, I'll be sharing routines and tips using Korean skincare products that I've been using lately, so be sure to watch this video until the end. First of all, for me, cleansing is the beginning of a true skincare and I prefer mild acid cleansers. I have a combination skin which is oily on the outside and dry on the inside, so I'm sensitive to and value oil water balance. Mild acclean cleansers can work well for severely oil skin or skin that needs daily exfoliation. But in my case, they stripped too much oil and moisture from my skin, leaving it dry and prone to skin barrier breakdown. For morning cleansing, I prefer to use a gentle bubble cleanser because it's just enough to remove the oil and dirt from the night before and it's definitely less irritating and gentler on my skin. My favorite these days is Sunjung and Ionic. Sunjung is super soft and moisturizing and Ionic is also super gentle and with a very clean finish. For night cleansing, first of all, I usually don't wear much makeup and most days I just wear sunscreen. But even if I do only sunscreen, I still make sure to do double cleansing. No matter how mild sunscreens are these days, it's honestly hard to cleanse perfectly with just a foam cleanser. So for my first cleanse, I alternate between cleansing oil and water. And when I feel like my pores and sebum need a little more treat today, I use cleansing oil. First, Laundrap Dokdo Cleansing Oil. It's a mild, light oil that can be used daily without damaging the skin barrier. And second, Anua Cleansing Oil. It's good for gently sebum and pore care and it's watery and lightweight texture so it cleanses well and leaves a nice finish. I normally gently wipe my face with the cleansing water and use some artist organic cotton pads but on days when my skin is really sensitive i tend to use a foam maker to cleanse my face i really love bioderma when i've been using this from korea for a few years now but i'm gonna move back to korea soon and i'm looking forward to try out some other products that are popular in korea like lobectin one or laundry one then finish with a mild acid cleanser which has different key ingredients depending on the products and i like to pick and choose depending on my skin's condition that day. Mixun is really gently exfoliates and removes impurities without irritation, and Sunjung is a very moisturizing mild cleanser just like the bubble one I mentioned earlier. I start with lukewarm water and end with lukewarm water, and whether it's oil on foam, I don't rub it on top of my skin for long, wash thoroughly for about 30 seconds and rinse, gently absorb the water with a towel and apply your toner light away before it dries. My favorite toners these days are Lubectin is very moist moisturizing but absorbs well into the skin and leaves a super nice finish. I'm from Lice Toner is super soft and moisturizing that it feels like you're absorbing Lice water light into your skin. Anua Toner is great for days when my skin is oily and sensitive, it absorbs quickly and has good soothing effect. Isentry is great to use during this dry weather, a really moisturizing toner that seems to absorb hyaluronic acid light into the skin. I usually use a toner with just hands and I like to use a generous amount and layer it two or three times but never seven or ten times at once because I find that if I apply too much at once my skin doesn't absorb it properly and it stays on the surface and makes my skin feel sticky which in turn clogs my pores and causes breakouts. Once you feel like your skin has absorbed the toner, move on to serum step. Serums come in so many different functions that they really opens up your options. So this is a key step where it's important to find the right product for you rather than just following what everyone else is doing. For example, where I live now, the weather has gotten colder and this difference between indoor and outdoor temperature is the perfect time for my face to become dry and sensitive due to temperature changes and changes in oil and water balance. When my skin is this sensitive, I take a break from all functional care products like Latino, vitamin C, exfoliation, and device care. Why this high functional product can really dramatically improve skin 
when used at the right time. But you know, simple is best and less is more. In other words, don't irritate your skin first and then add something nice to it to make it work. So I only use these high functional products when my skin barrier is good and my skin is healthy. Okay, let me give you another example to make it easier for you to understand. Some of you might be in a hot weather place right now or you can think about summer. When it's hot, you're sweating, which increases oil and sebum production and widens your pores, so it's good to use a serum with ingredients that help manage oil and pores, or one that has a cooling effect on your face. And sun exposure can also increase blemishes and pigmentation, so you can use serums with a brightening ingredient that inhibit melanin pigment production. Okay, does it make sense now? What I'm trying to say is that it's not about buying products that are famous or advertised by celebrities. It's about choosing products that are light for you, your skin type, age, environment, weather, lifestyle, etc, etc. So what I use these days, Cosmetics. I'm really in love with it, I can't stop reaching for it. It's so moisturizing and soothing and it has the anti-inflammatory properties of propolis and I would order a new one without hesitation. These are two serums that come to mind when I think of Centella Asiatica ingredient. It's a well-known ingredient for repairing a soothing skin. Mixun has a bit heavier texture and more moisturizing than Skin Chansa and Skin Chansa is faster, absorbing and very nice clean finish. I briefly used the Gudal serum when it first came up when I was in Korea but I started using it again after it was renewed and it's much more milder and more moisturizing. It's perfect for days when I want to apply vitamin C but don't want to irritate my skin. I don't apply a lot at once but rather a decent amount in two applications to help it absorb properly. I like moisturizers to be as mild and hydrating as the name suggests and these days there are many moisturizers with functional ingredients but what you should think about before functionality is the formulation of the moisturizer which I've emphasized many times the oil water content. If you have dry skin choose a moisturizer with a higher oil content and if you have oily skin choose a lot lighter moisturizer with a higher water content. If you have a combination skin like me, I recommend having both types of moisturizers and you can apply them according to the temperature and humidity or your skin condition of the day for a more true moisturizing care. Isn't three are a very basic moisturizer that's very clean for everyday use. Lado Spoje is super great product to use on really sensitive days or to repair the skin barrier. Estra is really moisturizing and absorbs deeply into the skin and also good for strengthening the skin barrier. Mixun is divided into two types. I've used both and they are very moisturizing and soft. The texture feels so good on my skin. And one more tip. Apply to dry areas first. I like to focus on my cheeks, especially my cheeks cheekbones because they are the driest and then use the leftover cream on my hands to apply to my oily nose or forehead. You don't need to apply the same amount of product to every part of your face. For example, I'm particularly prone to breakouts around my mouth and nose so sometimes I like to finish off those areas with only gel based moisturizer. So that's it. I've shared my cool routine and the products I use lately, but there's still so much more to share with you. I was focusing on my basic daily routine, but there are special care days, ways to treat specific skin concerns and more. But don't worry, I'm gonna share all the knowledge I know because I recently started studying again and I'm trying to test as many different products as possible to share the best ones and tips with you guys. So if you'd like to see more of my videos, please make sure to subscribe and you can also follow me on my Instagram for more communication. I'd also love to hear your skincare questions and video ideas, so please feel free to share them with me in the comments. I'll be back with the following video. Thank you so much. Bye! Annyeong! Annyeong!